But welcome back to the program. This is still the Street Assembly on Citizen Information Network. I am Akborero Henry Akbos, and I've been joined by two Kajad administrators of the street. They will be joining me to discuss the newspaper headlines that are making the rounds in Nigeria. To my right, I have uh, Mr. Moses. Mr. Mo Mr. Moses, and to my left? I am Giwa. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, President Muhammadu Buhari has come out and said 2019 election is going to be free, fair, and credible. Do you believe this statement? Do you think that is something that, 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 that he can achieve in 2019? It can't happen in 2019 because the, the president we are talking about here is not that kind of person that can hand over power just like that. When it happened in 2015, everybody, everybody fight for Gulag Jonathan to remove, to remove from power. And we, the masses of the youth, we agree and we vote him out. And the youth has now come back again to say, President Muhammad, President Muhammad Baru should, vote, should go out of seat. So we are ready for him to go out of seat because we don't want him again. What we supported him for, for, us, for him to do for us, he can't fulfill it. So we want him to go, go out of that seat. But he can't do it. Okay, he can't do it. Or can he or can he not do it? Sir, what's your take on this uh, uh, topic that Mr. Uh, Buhar, uh, President Buhari has said that 2019 election will be free, fair, and credible. Do you think it's something that is achieve, uh, achievable in Nigeria democracy? Wow, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what I have been seeing from right from the 2015 when Buhari entered to the government, to the state, being a president, really, Buhari is not doing properly. He just came in now to rob because the other time that he became a president when he was in uniform, he didn't see money thief. Now he came to thief. That's why he's using his he's own morale. Used by EFCC, we collected money from people. So now I say that Buhari himself, he cannot swear that in life for his life that he's not stealing Nigeria money. Even when he, where he packed his own place for where he said that he's sick. Do you know how much that come up, that is paying for that place in a day, talk less of a week, talk of a month? So if Buhari can use EFCC, rob people, people refuse to open company to let youth to work, and now we are slammed dead. And you still say you want to rule for eight years. It's eight years of death. It's not eight years of surviving. So he's uh, saying... Uh, we, uh, actually, sir, he's saying, he's saying the election will be free and fair. And, let's see. And now, he said he will deal with Nigeria without constitution of the law. Why? That he will deal with Nigeria without constitution of the law. Only that statement alone. He empty his own level. He empty everything. So anything concerning APC, we don't need him. We need young youth who is educated. We don't need illiterate. Because education is much better. So you understand? So we don't need him. Uh, uh, Bros, I'll come to you now. Uh, he, he said we need young youth come 2019. Uh, Prada government have already passed the not too young to run bill uh, earlier, earlier this year. Do you think we need a younger person to rule Nigeria? How do you think the old men they have experience? The old men have deceived us enough, so we don't need any old blood again in this country. Because even me, as I'm talking to you, if I see somebody that can support me to rule this country, I want to be a president of this country. Because enough of all this nonsense in this country, because when the youth we discuss, at the end of the day, nobody will come out and confront these old men in this country, which is very bad. And they are deceiving us every day, and we are dying every day. And today we talk like this now, tomorrow we will weak, I can't continue again. They will not deceive my children again. It's enough for us now to do all these things. Enough is enough. Wow. Enough is enough. That is the word on the streets. Enough is enough. We'll go for this short break. When I come back, we'll continue on the program. This is the Street Assembly. And, you, and you're watching Citizen Information Network, CIN. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Okay, you're welcome back from that short commercial break. You're still watching Citizen Information Network, and the program is the Street Assembly. My name is Akbarero Henry Akbos. Joining me now to talk more about uh, issues and uh, 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 headlines of newspapers in Nigeria today, I have to my right, Mr. My name is uh, Joshua. Joshua is my name. Okay, and to my left, Mr. Im Daniel Emmanuel. Okay, I'll start with you, Miss, Mr. Daniel. Uh, President Muhammadu Buhari has come out and said 2019 election will be free and fair and credible. That he will make sure that it's free and fair and credible. 
do you think is something that Buhari can do? It is true now because you can see that uh, INEC is the man, INEC man at the, the, the seat of the fair is, was appointed by him. So whatever in, instruction that he gives to him, he will do. He said, fail this election, he will fail. So everybody is under him because there is nothing like independence, uh, uh, what they call it, elections uh, whatsoever. Since APC government came in, no other party is ruling or no party won election in this country. But it was not so in the past. It is only APC that always won election in every place. So wherever you take him to, he will still make his party to win. So we don't want to see him, not even talk of him running for election in this country again. Not his grandson. We don't even want his grandson. Talk less of talking about their family again. Even the Northerners, we don't even want any of them to come back again to tell us you want to run election. Okay, so, okay finally, you believe, say, Ingo Fee conduct 2019 election free and fair. He will not. He will not do it. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Bruce, so you now, President Muhammad Bari, on the topic that uh, 2019 election will be free and fair and credible. What's your reaction to this? My reaction to the topic on ground, I believe that I can do it. I can believe the 2019 election will be free and fair. I believe him. Okay. Well, uh, how, how do you think? What makes you to believe? Thank you very much. The moment this man was being sworn in, he promised that we bring those Shibo girls. Do you understand? After they abducted those Shibo girls for four, three years, the former government, they could not be able to bring one. And these girls, you understand, they were abducted during that very past government. And when this man came to board, you understand, he brought more than half of them. So from that point of view, I believe the man can do it. All right, thank you very much. He can do it. Well, 2019 will tell. Uh, you, you, you want to react to this, sir? Yes. The man, maybe that is his cousin brother. Yes, his cousin brother. So maybe APC and Buhari is having agent to go around to convince the masses that they should join them. But we have already we are inside the water. So we are dying with our family. So we, we don't even want the man. We don't even want Buhari. Not even his government. For him to even come back again, we don't want him. Okay, Oga Oga say he be Buhari cousin brother. Okay. Uh, how you go react to this one? Thank you, thank you very much. The only thing I love my friend. But I must love true more than my friend. Okay? Let's live about sentiment. Because I listen to when you are interviewing somebody. It's not about if we talk about mind. It's not about whether young guy, whether old man did it. We are talking about mind. Do you understand now? And we have to need somebody that has a political will to do the country. Because we don't have the political will in the past. Even though we want to define leadership in a modern way, it's not only about what you know. Quote me. It's not to, I'm not saying that you should not have something upset there. But that alone can be deceitful. Okay? You have to get a political will to drive people. Because we feel we lack discipline. That's why we are here. We are here today. In the past, 25% Naira appreciated more than dollar. Because 75 Kobo is cut to one dollar. Those days. We must ask ourselves why? Because well, it's very simple. Your exportation must be more than your importation before a country must survive. So, definitely, in a nutshell, you must, what you have comparative advantage upon, you have to sure, I maximize those things. What we can produce locally, why can't you go to it? Everybody complains that we don't have the rate of unemployment, it's very huge. Why? It must be very huge because in the past, like 20, 30 years, it wasn't so. Okay. Like rubber, we have cocoa. Do you understand? We export all this one. Do you understand? That's the reason why you see our dollar appreciate. But now we want to base on importation of everything. It is not so. So I want to remind Nigeria that it is few people that can understand to the core. But you can't, I can't just follow the number. Do you understand now? It is few people that have in-depth knowledge of economy that understand it. Okay, it is few people that have in-depth knowledge of the economy and what is going on. This has been the Street Assembly on Citizen Information Network.